A word on fake annulments. Fake annulments are wrong. It's basically a divorce. It's a Catholic divorce that the church, the liberal church, has somehow finagled. And it's completely wrong. You cannot just divorce someone, annul it, and remarry. That's not the Catholic faith. Marriage is for life. It's unto death. And people decide for these bogus reasons to divorce their spouse and hate them for the rest of their life and go have affairs. And then the church writes it off as legal. That's not legal. No. The scripture says that if you divorce, you commit adultery. And it's written in the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not commit adultery. If you divorce your spouse, it's, it's adultery. And you cause that spouse to commit adultery as well. Because then they're forced to have to do something else if their spouse is gone. I mean, they can't just sit there idle. So whatever they're doing is sort of a form of adultery, whether it be knitting or traveling because their spouse is gone and their duties are have been all messed up they probably have to uh, I don't know what you would do but fake annulments are wrong and it's going on with many relatives and it's very wrong the only reason you should have a real annulment is if you accidentally married someone who's already married. And that would be a real annulment. Or, uh, I'm sure there are some real reasons, but most of them are fake. If you marry outside the church and you're Catholic and you're just dumb, then it's a real annulment. But if you married sacramentally within the church, and then you just decide, oh, I just don't like that person, that's not the faith. That's not the faith. We are called to pray for people and convert them. We're not called to just throw people away and have love affairs. That's not Catholic. It's not. So beware of any false fruits, anyone who's acting that way and telling you how to live. That is not the road you want to walk down. You want to walk like Christ walked and go to heaven. And it's a narrow road with a lot of thorns on both sides. But you'll get to heaven if you do it. Believe me, you want to go to heaven. You don't want to go the other way. This is a book called Roses from Heaven. This is available from St. Michael's World postulate in New York for only shipping it's a big book and I so much recommend it it's a treasure it really is you will never grow old of reading this it's for life this book is your friend for life Michael Mangan is your friend for life he is he's looking for young men to join his lay postulate they are celibate men they are religious. They go to daily mass confession. They do the rosaries for the priests. And they merit very highly in heaven. One of theirs, um, he came down from heaven uh, wearing, I think it was a um, breastplate of St. Michael. That is very significant. St. Michael is the strongest angel you could ever have to back you. <laughs> so, these guys, they have it going on. And I highly recommend you join them as soon as you can. Start emailing them, calling them, saying you're interested. Do whatever it takes to get yourself to heaven. Get the role models in your life that you need because nine times out of ten or even more, the parish priest is just not capable of helping souls get to heaven and I've been through this so many times they've sold out and it's all written in this book you can't expect them to help you find your mom 
they're a priest, but they don't follow their own laws. The family is so important. So if a priest is not advocating for that, how how can he truly care? Of course he's sending the sacraments to you, which is very wonderful, but in other in all other regards don't listen. Don't follow. We are in the end times, which means it's a constant battleground. Buckle your safety belt when you enter the church. Um, if you have to separate from every single relative in order to get yourself right with God, then so be it. It even claims that in scripture that they have to leave all to merit their kingdom, to lose all possessions pretty much. But it's so worth it. And that's where your joy comes from. And it's a never-ending joy. And we know that it's true. One other thing is the rose petals. You can get these rose petals from Michael Mangan. They have some spiritual benefits for your entire family. Benefits of conversion. It says on here, cure, conversion, graces, and abundance. I've been sick. I've used some. They've helped so much. <laughs> Even chronic problems. I know Christina Gallagher, she has a rose petal that's been touched by the hearts of Jesus and Mary. I highly recommend that one. She's got uh, medals, the, the miraculous medals, a beautiful medal for conversions. And all these are sacramentals. They should be blessed. There's a rosary of the unborn that you can play, pray the rosary on. And it saves unborn children. May you have a wonderful evening.